What's up guys? Today we're going to watch back one of my fights. This is my second amateur fight ever and this is the entire reason why I learned how to wrestle. So let's get into it. Okay, unfortunately, I believe uh, just from the recordings I could find, I only have the first two rounds. They're all pretty similar. Here we go, getting into it. Uh, <laughs> it's back when I used to actually be able to make 155. Um, but this was both of our, I think this was my second fight. This was his third fight. Um, super cool venue, actually. I really enjoyed fighting there. Um, but, and I believe since this was October, they were doing like the pink hand or uh, wraps thing. Wasn't really sure. I think it was a breast cancer thing, but who knows? But anyways, here we go. Getting into the cage uh, and getting everything ready. You know, getting greased up by my coaches. Shout out to Tony, who's the inspector standing in between us. Uh, he's no longer with us, but uh, hopefully he's resting in peace. George Allen, legendary referee. Uh, don't see him around as much anymore, which is a real bummer, but uh, always loved seeing him. Pioneer of the Georgia scene. Uh, so here we go, getting uh, checked down. And I uh, was very excited for this fight going into it. Um, I knew going in that uh, Dominic was a good wrestler. Um, and yeah, at the time, like this is, this is something that I will talk about. Um, as the fight goes on, but the importance of like having uh, coaches that really build a solid game plan for what you're doing, um, being able to look at somebody and like kind of analyze um, their strengths and also your strengths and being honest with yourself. Um, for this fight, I did this one and I believe my one after it, it was mostly like gi jiu jitsu and back work. Um, so I was also working at the gym at the time, um, didn't really know how to wrestle at all. Um, like at all going into this fight. Um, so here we go, touching gloves and adding some good pressure right away, kind of seeing everything. Um, but here we go, good inside outside leg kicks. And there's the first shot. So I didn't really bring my hips back. Um, I did defend that one, uh, threw a punch while I was grounded, which you're not supposed to do, but you know, a fight's fight. Um, yeah, good pressure with the lead hand. Trying to feed the head kick. It was a good body kick. I know that got him. Same thing there. Um, caught him with that hook. But I'm giving up a lot of ground there. And there, same thing, just not getting my hips away from him. Uh, and also, too, I see this as a big problem in... Uh, with jiu-jitsu guys in MMA is they get really content uh, being on their back because uh, you're thinking like, oh, I can attack submissions, I can do this, but especially for like this fight, this was a three-minute round. So if I get taken down, like I don't have a lot of time to work on my back. Um, I've got a little bit of urgency here getting up, uh, which is good. And I was able to finally make it back up and give him a little hook on the way out. Um, but yeah, that's really like something that, you know, jujitsu guys do. There's a good head kick attempt. Um, oh, and he caught the kick. Again, you know, the wrestling defense isn't there. You got to be careful. Um, throwing those body kicks, especially. Um, but yeah, and hunting submissions off my back, you know, nothing like crazy, um, you know, like wrong, I would say. Um, but again, just like with jiu-jitsu, it's like the submission's not there. Don't be content on your back. That was something I feel like I did in this fight also. Um, just not knowing as much about wrestling. Uh, not knowing as much about the defense, especially the offense. And, uh, you know, had a good, uh, ooh, there we go. Got a good Kimura here. Um, tried the bump sweep. He's doing a good job basing into it. And then trying to break this free. Still working for that Kimura. 
Got our view blocked here by, by George Allen. Um, and there we go. So now the Kimura is pretty much out. Um, I've got it. I really need to be hipping into him more, trying to crunch in instead of pulling out. Um, and I thought I had that, but I was able to use that to get back up. I'm just walking him down with my hands and then just a good shot again and not a sprawl uh, from me. So yeah, that was the end of the first round. Uh, this fight, I'll keep going back to that. Like this fight was so important for me in my development because I, after this fight, studied wrestling, drilled wrestling, trained wrestling like a madman. Uh, and have since to where now that's almost a part of my game. Uh, so much so to where I'm implementing takedowns, I'm threatening with them, um, and stuff like that. But that was all because of this fight. Because before I would have just continued to think that I was like just a striker because I had knocked out um, the guy in the fight before. You know, and really just thought I could get it done with my hands. Uh, so, back in the corner, uh, getting everything ready. And like I said, we only have the first and second round from this fight for some reason. Um, the third round is lost. If I find it, we'll do another video of it or I'll upload the full thing. Um, but, yeah, super frustrating not having that. But that's part of uh, why you got to make sure you get copies of all this stuff while you can or find it, you know record it however you can um, because uh, yeah some of these promotions just don't keep that video around for you um, <laughs> which which is totally fine they're not supposed to right but it's not their job but yeah I'm just thankful that we were able to find uh, what we did um, but here we go round number two it's a little off in that timing there's a couple I think it was that kick or there was one more that he threw that I really remember feeling but a good right hand there. Um, and just walking him down. There's another good kick. Good one, too. Pumping the jab nicely. That was a good shot from him. He had, had very unconventional striking, but a lot of times, like, it really worked for him. Like, that overhand. Like, he was out of range and then was able to lunge in really well. Um, but here we go. Takedown again. Again, he's got like good takedowns, um, good drive to finish. Um, and then I'm on my back again. You can see there's not that urgency to get up because uh, again, you know, I'm just I'm comfortable there. Like for jujitsu, like you can get comfortable on your back. Uh, and that was something. That was another takeaway I got from this fight. I'm eventually working to get on top. Um, he also had really good top pressure. Um, but still, like that's something I'll, I'll stress again for, for my jiu-jitsu guys out there. Y'all need to be doing your jiu-jitsu from on top. Like, period. The end. Otherwise, you're losing the fight. And right now, even if I'm attacking with sweeps, submissions, I'm losing the fight. You know? Um, so that's what you really got to... Um, oh, went for the hook sweep there. Started to get up. That was a good shot from him. And then rocked him. Nice. So I caught him getting too aggressive, didn't shoot my foot back enough, and he was able to turn the corner and get that over on me. Again, just not having good awareness on my part um, and really the knowledge of like what to do with my hips, how to get my hips back, how to let them hit the floor. You know, I just was making some, some basic mistakes. Um, still able to, to get back up a good bit to my feet um, and, and really wrestle my way up. Got a takedown on my own there. Um, and then was able to get on top. Now, for this in Georgia, you're not allowed to punch the face of a grounded opponent for your first three fights. Um, so that's why uh, I'm not able to punch to the face, and you'll see him not be able to punch to the face on me. Um, but, yeah. So then, second round so far, um, got taken down, but rocked him and reversed it. And now I'm doing work on top, got a little overzealous in the scramble, um, and he's just, I mean, wailing on my body. Snuck a nice up kick in there, he didn't like that, I think that hurt him a good bit, um, but yeah, close round, I thought I won the second round, um, he definitely won the first round, 
and then him uh, being able to to get the takedown on me and win it with control time on top. That was my second amateur fight. Um, like I said, that one was a really, really important fight for me and my development. And you'll have that, like, you know, for those of you out there that do compete in anything, whether it's jujitsu, MMA, kickboxing, you'll notice every time you go out to compete, you'll have a fight where sometimes, like, it might go your way, but you're like, oh, like, I need to work on this thing. Or you'll have a loss like this, where I lost by decision. Um, and that fight just haunts you. Like, you're like, okay, I have to work on my wrestling. And for the next, you know, year to really, I mean now, I've fanatically worked on my wrestling, worked on my takedowns, offense, defense, wall wrestling, open wrestling, because that was an area that I really neglected in this fight and it showed. So that is it for today. Thank you guys so much uh, for sticking around. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment on what you want to see next, and uh, we'll see y'all next week.